All right, so this next part uh, is where he kind of gets into some of the cool stuff. And I'm going to try and, uh, on the on our website, guitarbreakdown.com, I'm going to try and get uh, some of the tab up on this, um, just on a few of the licks, and this one in particular. This is one of my favorite uh, chromatic licks. I use it all the time, um, or at least the, the beginning section I use as a lick. Um, what he does is... And that whole thing is based out of your A minor pentatonic, but he bends up basically from the 14th fret a half step. And then he, he goes down chromatically. So from the 14th, 13th, 12th, 11th. And then after that, he hammers back onto the 14th fret. So. And then, so he does down a chromatic run. Then you could think of it as going down the 14th, 12th, 11th. So instead of doing the chromatic again, he does. And that's 14 bend up a half step, all on the E string. Back down to the 14th fret, 13th fret, 12th fret, 11. Hammer on the 14th fret back down to the 12th fret, back down to the 11th fret. So, and that's, you're just picking the first note. Then he slides down a half step to the 10th fret and hammers on to the 11 and 12. So it's, uh, I'm sorry. And I don't know if you can hear that, so I'm gonna actually turn up the volume a little more. So with the volume turned up a little bit, that's, And uh, it's, th this is a really cool lick uh, just to practice over and over, like to really try and get the strength in your finger because he's only picking a few notes and the rest are hammer-ons and pull-offs. And uh, the amount of notes, there's, there's got to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So about 18 notes or so, and he only picks... I, I think he only picks that first note. And then he starts going into the picking. Um, but everything on that E string, 18 notes worth of just picking one, and it's not just a typical, it's really doing a pretty complex pattern. So again, after that first section, he goes up the 10th fret, 11th fret, and 12th fret, and then pulls back off the 10th fret and slides down to the 9th fret. So, actually he doesn't. He, he, uh, this, this gets a little complicated. So he pulls off, goes up the not 10, 11, 12, pulls off to the 10th fret, hammers back onto the 12th fret, pulls off to the 9th fret. So... That's, I think that's what he does. Uh, so after he pulls off to the 9th fret, he hammers on the 10th fret, and then he pulls off to the 8th fret. So... Actually, I think he pulls off Sorry, this, uh, I, I always, th this phrase, you don't have to play it note for note. Uh, to get the general feel of it, though, is what's important. That's what he does. So when he hammers on the 10th fret to the 12th fret, he pulls off to the 9th fret, hammers on the 10th fret, pulls off to the 9th fret, and slides down to the 8th fret. Then he hammers on to the... Uh, the ninth fret, and that's your minor third to major third. And that's when he gets into, he starts getting into the. So, the whole phrase is. And 
And then he just starts going down the pentatonic scale. So. And this is where he, again, uses the minor to major third. So. Um, now the next section he goes into, again, I'm not gonna go through all those notes, it's just way too many notes. Uh, the next section uh, he goes into is that Lydian dominant that's over that second chord, the B flat uh, seven sharp 11. To that right after this little break. All right, guys. So uh, this next section is actually really cool. It's um, it really gets outside of the realm of straight ahead blues, and it gets more into that jazz kind of outside thing. Um, it uh, basically he's playing over that uh, B flat seven sharp eleven chord, um, which is the second chord in the progression. And again, that chord is suggesting uh, really the five chord. So what he's playing over this scale wise, he's playing uh, a Lydian dominant, um, which is the fourth mode of melodic minor. Uh, and this is a common thing to play over the five chord uh, of a progression. Now, again, I'm not gonna get too deep into the theory of this. Um, if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, write a comment below um, and let us know uh, otherwise, you know, again, I don't want to get too heavy into the theory lessons because I don't think a lot of you guys really want to sit through that. You just want to learn licks, which is totally cool. Um, but if you are interested in that kind of thing, shoot us a comment and, uh, and we will do, you know, some more in-depth theory kind of lessons. But anyway, so over this, this, uh, this, uh, B-flat seven chord, uh, he's playing this scale, basically. messing around um anyway so the the whole next lick is just based out of that scale but it just sounds so cool uh, and then he throws in a little chromatic thing so that lick goes uh let me let me show you the scale real quick uh so it starts on the root which is the sixth uh sixth fret e string so it's sixth fret e string eighth fret E string, then fifth fret A string, uh, seventh fret A string, and eighth fret A string. So that's then on the D string, it's five, six, eight. So so far you have then on the G string, it's the fifth fret and the seventh fret. On the B string, it's five, six, eight. And on the E string, it's four, six, eight. Uh, so that whole thing is, and you can actually go down to the, again, repeat the e, high E string on the low E string. You can go down the fourth fret, which is the flat seven. So. Really cool scale. Um, and what it is, again, I'll, I'll do a little kind of theory thing. Uh, what it is, it's basically, if you think of a major scale, it's that major scale with a sharp, uh, sharp four, basically, uh, sharp 11. Uh, so you have one uh, root, second, third, sharp four, five, six, 
flat seven and root again. So a major scale would be, and then this Lydian dominant is, really cool thing. So the lick that he plays, it starts on the fifth, which is the eighth fret of the A string. Uh, and he goes uh, eighth fret of the A string to the fifth fret of the D string, hammers on to the sixth fret of the D string. So it's, and then he plays the fifth fret of the G string. So. And I'm doing that whole chicken picking thing, kind of to get that pop. So it's eight, five, six, back down. So eight, five, six, five on the G string, back down to the sixth fret of the uh, D string. And then he pulls off from the seventh fret to the fifth fret of the G string. So then he hammers on from the sixth fret to the eighth fret of the uh, B string. So I'm sorry. And that's kind of a cool little thing a pull off from one string to a hammer on to the other. So. Uh, and he does, he basically palm mutes this, so I'm trying to make it loud enough for the mic to pick up. Uh, but if you palm mute, you get this. And again, that's all within that scale. So, then after he hammers on from the 6th to the 8th, he hammers on from the 5th to the 6th on the B string. So, and then he goes from the 7th fret of the G string to the 5th fret of the um, B string. So. Then he bar rolls down to the fifth fret of the G string, pulls off, and that's the fifth fret of the G string, pulls off the sixth fret to the fifth fret of the D string, and goes down to the eighth fret of the A string. So. Uh, That's what he does. Once he gets down to that note, he then does a chromatic thing. Uh, he goes from the eighth fret of the D string to the fifth fret, six, seven, eight, all on the D string. So. Then he slides up from the fourth fret of the G string to the fifth fret of the G string. Again, all chromatic. So you have that whole section is chromatic. So. Uh. And then he just pulls off again from the sixth to the fifth. And again, that's all within that Lydian dominant scale, um, with the exception of a few chromatic notes. Uh, really cool scale, mess with it. Um, and again, if you want to learn the theory of it, hit us up, let us know. Uh, or there's a bunch of books and other lessons I'm sure you could find on Lydian dominant. Um, but it's a great little thing that'll get you out of playing typical stuff. Um, all right, we'll go into the next section, uh, which is based off of uh, 
dominant pentatonic or a major kind of pentatonic thing uh and then we'll get into that cool <laughs> 